Welcome back, ladies. There have been a few changes. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 differences between Fate, The Winx Saga, and Winx Club. Are you a first year? A lot of things. Shocker, a fairy called Terra likes plants. Well, I guess I'll just have to fight for your attention. For this list, we'll be looking at details that differentiate these two enchanting shows. A slight spoiler warning is in effect. What Winx Club features do you want to see in Fate the Winx Saga? Tell us about it in the comments. Number 10. Clipped Wings Everybody thinks they know fairies. Sparkly dust, magic powers, fancy wings. While Winx Club delivered on all of that and more, Fate the Winx Saga seems determined to establish its own identity right off the bat. The entire look of the show is intended to be more grounded in reality than the cartoon, with a subdued color palette and less avant-garde fashion choices. It is. Is there a casual thing that you're changing for? People have seen me in this outfit already. They'll expect something different. And not a wing in sight. I was half expecting a school full of Tinkerbell zipping around. <laughs> Disappointed. We learn in the first episode that this wasn't always the case, though. Well, we had wings in the past. As we've evolved, transformation magic has been lost. Fairies in the Winx Saga's other world used to have a lot more in common with the popular idea of fairies than they currently do. That's not to say that will always be the case, though. Number 9. Equal Opportunity Environment Winx Club features a cast of fabulous fairies and fierce fighters, but the cartoon keeps a strict gender divide between the two. All the fairy power comes courtesy of the girls, while the guys appear as warriors called specialists. All right, I suggest a three-pronged rescue up. Forget that. I got this puppy wrapped up all by myself. Dude, one summer at a swashbuckler camp doesn't mean you can go solo on a troll. We're introduced to both groups again in the Winx Saga, but now with equalized representation. We quickly meet male fairies, like Tara's brother Sam, who have the same elemental powers as their female counterparts. Can we please talk about your magic for a little while? Boring. Literally, I can bore through stone or dirt, anything natural. Likewise, we can see female trainees among the specialists. This strikes us as a net positive in terms of change. We like the opportunity to more fully experience the different forms that power takes in the Winx world. You will train every day. Find your skill. Hone your skill. Number eight, three for one. There's more to Beatrix than meets the eye. It's just I've waited my whole life for this. To be here. I'm obsessed with this place. It's history. Your history. It's not surprising considering that she's actually three characters streamlined into one. Beatrix is an amalgam of the tricks, a trio of witches who always meant big trouble for the fairies of Winx Club. I'll show you. She claims elements of her personality from all three, which is why it might be difficult to put her in any single box. Are you a first year? I'm a lot of things. Her electrifying powers, however, seem to reference Trick's sister Stormy most closely. So how will she live up to her three forebearers? Time will tell. With a talent for manipulation, a nose for trouble, and a mysterious agenda, Beatrix is a character who should never be underestimated. Number 7. Riven Riven is a name familiar to fans of Winx Club, but the character on the Winx Saga may not be exactly who they were expecting. You got slow this summer? <sighs> Correction. I got high this summer. Both versions seem to see themselves as somewhat of an outsider, but it's a quality that takes different forms. Winx Club's specialist, Riven is a lone wolf type with a serious disposition. Meanwhile, the Riven we meet in the Winx Saga is more rebellious and likely to cause trouble. Maybe this personality shift accounts for the other major changes to the character. While the animated Riven is the love interest of Musa, Live-action Riven can't seem to resist Beatrix's dark charm. Well, I guess I'll just have to fight for your attention. Number 6. Missing Pieces Most fans realize that characters get lost in adaptation, but that doesn't soften the blow when it actually happens. Fans of Winx Club were disappointed to see that the Netflix lineup seemed to be down two fairies. How can you tell? They all look the same. I have a photographic memory. I notice details. 
Animal Fairy Roxy was a later addition to the animated group and was never as central to the story as some of her friends. But Tecna, a fairy with technology-based magic, was one of the founding members of the Winx Club in the original series. Not only is she a core part of that dynamic, but her powers offer so much potential for creative exploration. Tecna, you're unbeatable! <laughs> Thanks, Bloom, but I'm really not that great. The forum guys gave me some tips. They think Tecna's my nickname. You're amazing! You just got to Earth and already you know everything about the internet. We just have to hope the Winx saga finds the opportunity to bring her into the mix eventually. I'd give my right arm to find out about my future, you know? What the future has in store for us is not always pleasant. Number 5. Sky. Of all the Winx Club characters who made the Netflix cut, Sky might have gotten the biggest emotion. He may be a school legacy and the most promising specialist at Alfea, but his animated counterpart was an actual prince. This is Sky, Prince of Arachleon, successor to the throne and my future husband. In the Winx saga, he just has to settle for dating a princess. Though Sky is Bloom's love interest in Winx Club, on Netflix he's been involved with Stella. You broke up with me. No, I know. I didn't hear from you all summer. And then I say two words to a first year? I sound like no, okay. I'm sorry. Meanwhile, Stella's original love interest, Brandon, has yet to appear. That said, there were still plenty of sparks between Bloom and Sky on the Winx saga. It seems safe to assume that there's a long game in play for their relationship. Number 4. Terra Nova Among the fresh faces created for the Winx saga, we meet Terra. The Earth Fairy is like a bit of sunshine at Alfea. She's reflexively friendly and kind, albeit a little insecure. Do you need me to turn around so you can change? Is that what this is about? No, no. Um, I, I'm, that's fine. Um, I'll, okay. However, Terra's not a doormat. She periodically shows a good sense of her own value. It's nice to see a character demonstrating that sweet is not another word for weak. But sometimes we've had a really, really bad day and some scrawny little asshole says the wrong thing at the wrong time and suddenly we're not happy that you're talking to us and we're not sweet and most of all, we are not harmless. Though she's an original character, Tara still has links to Winx Club. The original series featured an Earth Fairy named Flora, who still exists in the Netflix series as Terra's as yet unseen cousin. Shocker, Earth Fairy called Terra likes plants. It's a family thing. I've got this cousin called Flora, and my mom's called Rose. Hopefully, this means she'll have a chance to appear next season. We would love to see the green goddesses combine their powers. Number 3. Musa's Powers. With a name like Musa and a perpetually present set of headphones, it might be easy to guess what this fairy's power is. Not so fast, though. It's true, on Winx Club, Musa's magical abilities extend to all things Sonic. Her Winx Saga counterpart works with different kinds of waves, though. Specifically, brain waves. Your face looks so calm, yet you're racked with guilt. You're a mind fairy. A mind fairy? What's your connection? Memory, thoughts? Not a great time. As a mind fairy, Musa's empathic abilities and power of emotional manipulation are as much a challenge for her as they are a gift. I'm a genuinely happy person. And I'm an empath. I can feel everything that you feel. Your anxiety with me, your insecurity with Stella, and your anger. Right now, all of it, if not worse than you. Her headphones here are a source of comfort rather than a token of her magic. I put my headphones on so I can take a break from everyone else's emotions and just focus on mine. Though she shares a name with one of the Winx Club originals, most fans see the character as a Musa in name only. Number 2. The Burned Ones Another of the Netflix series' original creations are the mysterious Burned Ones. I still want to know why you can track these things. <sighs> They're one of the many mysteries of my life I could be solving in the protective embrace of the barrier. These crispy monsters provide the main threat to Alfea's safety throughout the first season of the Winx Saga. Vicious killers who attack mindlessly and can spread their condition through infection, the Burned Ones were the strongest signal possible that Netflix was slanting this show towards an older audience. Be thankful you've never seen a Burned One. But if you ever do, pray that it kills you so the ones you love will not have to. At the beginning of the series, most students believe the Burned Ones have become a myth, but things are shifting at Alfea. 
After 16 years, the burned ones are out for blood again. I need to get in its head. We need to know if this is an isolated instant or something more. Something more? Like what? Why are they back? Who do they serve? How is it all connected? All burning questions for the show to address. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Blinded by the White Winx Club originally earned praise for the diversity of its characters. Since its debut in 2004, calls for inclusive casting have only grown louder, so it just doesn't make sense that the creators of the Winx saga would go in the opposite direction. Though precious Mustafa's Aisha remains faithful to the look of her animated counterpart, she's now the only POC with a prominent role on the series. A single body of water, a mass of water, is persistent and reliable. Consider the individual elements that combine to form the whole. Musa is depicted as East Asian in the cartoon, while Flora, the character replaced by Tara, was designed to look like Jennifer Lopez. It's cool that creator Brian Young wanted to depict different body types, but in 2021, there really is no good excuse for making your cast less racially diverse than your source material. Welcome back, ladies. There have been a few changes. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.